In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys five proven products to dropship from May 2020 and onwards. What's going on, guys? Yash here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is absolutely having a great week and a great day. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. I hope everyone is safe and sound out there with this pandemic going on. So, guys, in today's video, I'm going to give you guys five hand-picked unsaturated and untapped products for you guys to start selling on your guys' dropshipping store from May 2020 and onwards. Now, yes, I know we are still affected or I know a lot of the market is still affected by the by the coronavirus pandemic. So again, these products are all coronavirus safe, meaning yes, they all have potential to sell despite the kind of situation we are in because of the nature of the products. Again, I've done about a few hours of research in the past week for all five of these products and they have potential. I've done my research. I've done my validation. I've done my due diligence. All you have to really do is go ahead and go sell these products. Now, before we do move forward, guys, please do drop a huge like on this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on your post notification bell so you guys do stay updated with all new and recent uploads. And last but not least, guys, please do join and check out my free Facebook group, Ecom Masterminds. I will be leaving a link to that with all my other social media accounts in the description below so you guys can stay updated with me. So, guys, let's jump right into it. So I'm not going to be only giving you the product. I'm also going to be giving you the potential cost price, the potential selling price, the type of store this product would sell on, potential Facebook interest, and also what kind of potential ad creatives can work for each specific product. So definitely, guys, you do want to stay tuned for the entire video. Our first product is a mobile game controller. Now, this is the product right here. Now, with a lot of people being in, a lot of kids and teenagers especially being in, you know, a lot of people have been resorting to gaming, um, you know, PC gaming, mobile gaming, um, console gaming. It kind of really varies broad across the spectrum. I know a lot of people, you know, they don't like PC or console gaming. They only like to play games on their phone. A lot of people like the whole experience in general. Um, it kind of really, really depends. But regardless, I think this is something that really cools. It basically makes your phone into a remote controller. So kind of you, you kind of really get that real life actual experience. I think it's really, really cool. Um, they have a bunch of different, um, you know, variations. They also sell two packs. Um, again, it comes in all different shapes and sizes and colors and stuff like that. I'll just keep it simple and sell like two or three different variations. I wouldn't really overcomplicate it too much. So the potential cost price of something like this, guys, is about $4.67. And yes, I am using AliExpress just to kind of get a broad idea or just kind of use it as a broad benchmark, you know, depending on, you know, what you guys are using for your suppliers. So again, that's why I'm just using AliExpress more so just as a benchmark, just an FYI. Um, you can easily sell this specific product for 3 to 5x more its cost price. Uh, the type of store this product would really do well on is a micro-branded one product store, meaning a store really dedicated and built around this one main product. I think it would do really, really well. Um, in terms of a knit store or multi-product store, if you have like a gaming store or want to make a gaming store, um, this product will also do very, very well on it. Uh, gender, male and female. I don't want to be biased. I know more more guys, more boys you know, are into gaming and stuff like that. But in, in today's society, you never really know. I know a lot of other female um, friends of mine that also like gaming who are at least interested into gaming. So, you know, you never know, never assume. Some potential interests that you guys can definitely test on Facebook if you guys are utilizing Facebook uh, for your advertising needs are Action Games, ESPN, uh, Xbox, Animal Crossing, and also Face Clan. The types of ad creatives that would work well is one, a video ad, and also a carousel ad with three to five pictures. This is something that you know would look really cool if you show in a video of someone playing it, like kids playing it, but it's also something that's pretty self-explanatory, right? It doesn't need a lot of description. It doesn't need a lot of unfolding as to what the product is. So that's why I think you guys can definitely split test between a video ad and a carousel ad of three to five different images of the actual product, you know, maybe have different variations, have someone playing it. You know, human perception is always a plus when someone's actually 
showcasing using or displaying the product. So that's what I would recommend for this specific mobile game controller. Our second product is the Garden Kneeler. Now this product has been doing well and I, I was checking on Google Trends, you know, hence I've done my research and validation that around March or April since the past two years, this product has been absolutely killing it. And right now I believe there's only two people selling on Facebook, guys, and I know this is going to sell. You know, the previous product, the mobile game player, that's a complete endorsed product, so there's no excuse of people not buying it. Again, these are all coronavirus proof, like I said. Even this one, it's right in people's backyards. It's something that, you know, spring is coming, um, and, you know, people who are gardeners, people who are into nature can definitely utilize something like this. Uh, it's basically like a two-in-one garden tool, you know, people can sit on it, you know, if they're gardening a whole bunch of things, spending a lot of time in their gardens, and people can also kneel on it as well. Um, again, this is a proven winner product, it's a seasonal winner product that's done well and well uh, year after year, so I would definitely suggest selling it. Um, it also has, like, uh, different pouches right here to put like your shovels and just different equipment and tools you may need when you guys are in your backyard to garden in. So again, super, super niche specific product. It's a problem solving product. Um, it's also a convenience and passion product as well, I would say. Cost price is a little bit more mid ticket. I would say about 27 bucks. Uh, can easily sell this product for two to three X more. Um, in terms of store type, I would definitely suggest a micro branded one product store it would work absolutely phenomenal. In terms of a knit store, you have some other options too, such as home improvement, uh, gardening, outdoors. I actually have a client who's in the gardening niche um, and she's actually white labeling her products and she's actually killing it. So definitely possible in one of those three niche um, kind of stores. Gender, male and female, you know, both, both uh, guys and girls like to garden, you know, there's no bias. Uh, some potential Facebook interests, garden owners, botanical garden, uh, backyardgardener.com, community gardening, nature. All these interests, by the way, are, you know, a different plethora of interests. You know, magazines, blogs, companies, TV shows, TV personalities, behavioral interests. Are, again, a whole different combination of interests. Uh, you know, however, um, you know, they are very, very targeted, obviously, specifically to the product. But, you know, my point is that you always want to be testing different interests, you know, some generic ones, some super specific ones. Um, so, again, that's just like a little FYI or note for every single product that I'm giving you guys in terms of the interest. In terms of ad creative, um, I think a video with a thumbnail would absolutely work well. Um, I would definitely split test a video and a thumbnail. So you want to have two videos and two thumbnails. See which one performs better. I think this is a product that people may need to kind of get, have a little bit more explanation in terms of how it really works, what it really does, right? In just terms, in, compared to just having kind of a picture. So I would definitely, definitely, definitely have um, a video and thumbnail and actually someone using or showcasing the product in their backyard, perhaps. So I think that would work really well with this specific garden kneeler. Next, guys, is portable table tennis net. Um, I think this is something that's really cool. Uh, more and more people are inside not now. You know, this net basically attaches anywhere. Like right now, I'm on my dining table. So I can literally attach it on my dining table, and people can play like ping pong or table tennis or whatever you really call it. Um, so I think it's super cool just to kind of kill time for kids to play, uh, for even for families and parents to play and stuff like that too. I think it's really cool. Uh, you can definitely, definitely, by the way, upsell like paddles and upsell balls and stuff like that. You can also include this as a whole package. So there's different things that you can actually include or different ways you can actually sell this entire product, okay? You always want to kind of think of how to maximize your AOV and how to give really the most to your potential customer. In terms of the product, the cost price is about $767. Um, I would say you can definitely sell this for about 2 to 3x more. Store type, micro branded one product store would work great. Um, niche, there's not so many niches you can really sell this uh, type of product in. Maybe games or home improvement. But I think a one product store would absolutely work very well for something like this. Very branded and kind of very particular to this product. Uh, gender, male and female, obviously. Uh, potential interest, I would say ping pong, arcade games, athletic uh, sports, badminton, board games. And I'll also leave an interest or always test an interest that is open just because this is such a wide 
um, widely targetable or widely approachable sort of product. You know, it's very mass targetable. You know, a lot of families are home right now. And, you know, regardless of age, gender, country, um, religious um, beliefs, cultural beliefs, um, country, event, like really anything, regardless of any variable, someone would basically buy this um, just because it's time passed, it's fun, um, and serves as entertainment, right? So that's my main purpose. That's why I do definitely recommend having one potential open interest with no targeting at all. In terms of ad creatives, uh, video and dumbbell again, split test both of them. Maybe if you can, um, you know, show like kids playing it or a father and son, mother and son playing it. Uh, I think that that would definitely work really well. It's kind of really focus on the features and benefits of the product, like uh, you know, not even so much benefits, but really like the features of the products. How you can basically put the net almost anywhere on any flat surface whether it be a table or a dresser or kind of really anything and you know you're you're basically able to play table tennis or ping pong so I think that's what I would really really um, kind of specify in this in the actual video our second to last product is the inflatable boxing bag I've actually seen a few ads for this specific product and I think it's really really cool um, basically, it's a boxing bag. Um, it's like an inflatable boxing bag. And you can basically see this video right here. But as hard as you really hit it, this bag doesn't fall. I think it's really cool. Something that people can utilize or put in their houses or their homes or even outside in their backyards or something like that. I specifically used to do martial arts, taekwondo, judo. So I would definitely buy something like this. Um, you know, not only because I'm kind of in there or I'm, I'm kind of in that space, but also because, you know, I personally also like working out, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm personally into fitness and stuff like that. So I think this is very um, widely targetable in that space as well. Maybe someone who wants to practice their boxing skills and a little get like a little one, two action in there. Um, but anyway, I think this is a great product, uh, you know, for people to stay active, not a lot of gyms, recreational centers and uh you know boxing gyms and stuff like that are open so i think this is absolutely great to kind of stay in shape you know maybe get into boxing or mma and stuff like that um so i think it's a great product um cost price is about 14.99 to 22.52 or 24.52 uh depending on the size you actually get you can actually sell different sizes um you know some people if they have smaller space in their houses or backyards may actually want a smaller one you know or if they have smaller kids if they're trying to you know train kids to kind of practice uh MMA or kickboxing or stuff like that so potential parents can also buy it for their kids by the way you know always be open as to who your potential audience can be I would easily sell this for 3 to 4x more uh, micro branded one uh, one product store would look absolutely great would work absolutely and convert absolutely great in terms of knit store i would say sports or boxing somewhere of that related gender male and female potential interest i would say floyd mayweather ufc martial arts uh, or taekwondo kickboxing and crossfit uh, again relatively people who are who, are, who want to stay fit um, who are at least into like boxing or sports and stuff like that, right? People who actually actively even go to the gym, by the way. So ad creatives, um, obviously a video and thumbnail split test both of them, uh, you know, if someone actually using them. The main thing about this is that as, as, as hard as you hit it, like it won't go all over the place. It just will go down and basically pop back up. So I think it's really cool. Just like that person in the video was showing them. I've actually seen like um actually seen videos of people like really hitting them hard and still doesn't you know fall completely back down or move out of place so i think that's something that you can really um you know highlight in the entire video and last but not least guys the kids math teaching box um this is again basically for like elementary kids uh, uh or you know kids and like kids who are like toddlers i guess um kids who basically um you know, aren't in school right now, are missing out on a lot of skills. Um, I think parents are sometimes worried that, you know, they're not probably paying attention because they probably can't take care of them home the right way. They probably can't give them the enough or proper ed education and attention. I would say not saying parents are being bad or you're not capable of being parents, but, you know, obviously, you know, going to school as a kid and being taught by a teacher is much more different than, you know, having the kids dependent on home, you know, at home with their parents or just on themselves. So I think this is a, something super in interactive, something super fun um, for kids, right? And your all of your bars would be parents. I think anywhere between like the ages of three, four to like 
12, 13, 14, 15 uh, would definitely, um, you know, get this for their kids, obviously. So there's this whole kit right here. And there's a video for them too, obviously. Um, so that's something that you can just see for your own. But you can definitely have guys like different upsells, like different, like all these pieces. There's like extra, extra of these pieces included. Uh, maybe kids will probably lose them or like break them or something like that. So you, know, you can definitely upsell like a lot of these different pieces that are included in the entire kit itself. You know, some of them are also kind of different variations and stuff like that. So you can feel free to check that out on your own. But, you know, especially because we're kind of going into the summer, parents don't want kids to kind of get off off momentum, off track. Um, you know, and I think, again, math is very important. I was really good at math, fortunately, when I was in middle school, when I was in high school. So I can't complain. But, you know, I think as a parent, I would definitely buy this for my son, daughter, or for my kids. So the potential cost price is twelve seventy five. I think you can sell this for three to four X more. Raise up the value a little bit more. Again, this product is of value, right? It really, you know, potentially holds value because, you know, your kids are going to get something good out of this. They're going to learn something out of this product. Um, I think, again, a micro branded one product store can do absolutely well. Almost all these stores can do, or almost all these products, I apologize, can do very well on a micro branded one product store. Um, in terms of niche or niche education, kids games, kind of that area, um, gender, male and female as a as a mother or a father or an aunt or uncle or grandma or grandpa can buy this for their little ones. Uh, potential interest, I would target parents with kids ages 4 to 12. Of, I would actually stack target all those different interests um, in terms of parents with kids in different ages in one ad set. Uh, but I think 4 to 12 or 4 to 15 is a good age for um, you know, kids to start using this and actually, you know, getting something good out of it. Um, Kumon, stay at home mom or stay at home dad, Khan Academy Kids, and also ABC Mouse, which is like another program, educational program. Uh, in terms of ad creative types, I would say video and thumbnail, um, you know, actually showcase like what the box has. Maybe it's like it's being opened in the video. You can see everything. Like you can actually have captions as to, you know, what the benefits are, you know, what kind of it includes, what subjects it includes within mathematics and whatnot. Um, maybe kids using them with their parents learning so you can have those kind of ad creatives again would we'll definitely split test too like I said to see which one performs better out of the two thumbnails and the two videos so yeah guys those are the five products that you guys can start selling from May and onwards that are coronavirus proof that are coronavirus safe um, again people are focusing on needs not only wants think about that you know I know in some states in some countries you know things are going back to normal but it's still going to be a few weeks at least so things go completely back to normal and stuff like that so i think you can definitely capitalize on these five products if you approach them and market them the right way so with that being said guys i uh, hope this was informational hope this was valuable if you have any thoughts any questions any concerns please do drop them in the comments below other than that guys i will check you guys out next time again please do let me know if i can do anything ever for you and i will talk to you soon peace